today I want to talk about communication in dreams and also I wanted to talk about the connection between waking reality and dream content, which I'll explain a little bit more. It's basically a little theory of mine that I can't really prove, but I've been thinking about and wanted to know if anyone else has been thinking about this. So a common um, topic of discussion in lucid dreaming forums is communication in dreams. I think a lot of people have trouble speaking in some of their dreams, just like they have trouble moving in some of their dreams. And it probably depends a little bit on the content. People often have trouble moving when it's really important that they move or communicating when it's really important that they speak. So there's probably something psychological going on there. But I also have a little bit of a theory that maybe part of the reason that this is happening has to do with some communication, subconscious communication going on between essentially your real body and the dream content, um, which Again, might be a little far-fetched, I might be wrong, but just wanted to talk about it today. So I have some examples of ways that I feel like um, waking reality sort of seeps into the dream. Some of them are pretty concrete and others are just theories. I'll start with some of the concrete ones. One time I had a dream, it was a lucid dream, um, and I was excited to be lucid, but I couldn't really see anything which is common and I know a lot of techniques for dealing with that so I was trying to sort of um, turn up all of my senses one at a time and I could improve my sense of hearing and other things like that but I still couldn't see no matter what I did it didn't seem mental and that was frustrating but eventually I woke up and I saw that um, I was in a hotel room at the time and the blinds were wide open and the sun was on my face so there was a real physical external reason for that dream content in that case. Um, I've also had a lucid dream in which my alarm was going off. In reality, my roommate at the time, um, I was in college, couldn't attest to this, and I slept through it and I was aware that I was dreaming. I could hear my alarm going off. It was very stressful. Um, so, and I think a lot of us have these experiences of like sight or sound sort of making its way in that are concrete and undeniable. But I have some theories about ways that maybe um, other awareness of your of your real body is maybe making its way into the dream. So for example, of course it's like a trope in our culture people often have dreams about um, being naked or wearing their pajamas in like inappropriate places like work or just in public. And I find if I have a dream like that I'm usually wearing whatever I'm actually wearing to bed. So, and this could be just my memory of what I wore to bed that night, but it could have something to do with the feeling of what clothes I actually have on my body making its way into the dream. Again, maybe that sounds far-fetched to you. I really feel like it makes sense to me, and I would love to know your thoughts. Um, another example, for me, I do have dreams in which I have trouble communicating or it's impossible to speak. Usually in these dreams, my jaw, my mouth is open and I can't shut it. It's really frustrating and scary and annoying and there's nothing I can do about it. It doesn't matter if I'm lucid or not. There's It seems external to me and um, what I think is happening is that I'm breathing through my mouth. Like maybe my nose is stuffy on that particular night and I'm breathing through my mouth so my mouth is open and I can probably feel that to some extent unconsciously. Again, I don't know that that's what's happening, but it really feels like that's what's happening, and I can't think of any other explanation why I have these dreams where my jaw is open specifically, and I can't speak. Um, I have also other dreams where I just can't make a sound, which again, I really think might have to do with the fact that on some level, you know that your body's paralyzed, so, you know, dreams where you can't walk, you can't move, I really think there might be something going on there with the connection between your dream, your real body and your dream body, and the fact that you are paralyzed when you're sleeping. Just my little pet theory could be wrong. Um, but in any case, what I can tell you is some advice for speaking and communicating in a lucid dream um, if you're having trouble communicating. And this sort of idea started to come to me in lucid dreams um, after I started to learn a little bit of sign language. Um, and I really don't know a lot of signing, but I know a couple things. And I found myself dreaming about um, signing to people which didn't make a whole lot of sense because I don't really know enough to be able to do that. I would It would be a combination of real signs and like some made-up stuff and just probably gibberish if I were um, actually communicating to somebody who uses ASL. But in the dream, 
it was effective. And then I would realize because I was lucid in a lot of these dreams that, oh, I'm really not signing. I just don't actually need to communicate verbally or visually to this other person because they are in my own head and I can just telepathically communicate to them. And once I had that realization, I would often, um, well, I would often practice signing just to practice because it's fun and I'm trying to learn it. Or I would forego that entirely and just say like, well, it's a dream. I don't need to speak or sign to this person in order to communicate information. So the main thing I wanted to communicate in this video was that you don't really need to speak in order to communicate information in a dream. Um, if you know you're dreaming, you have other options. And also I wanted to introduce this idea of mine that maybe more information than we realize is being communicated um, from reality to the dream world. And I know of some concrete examples where that's definitely the case, but maybe that's the case more than we consciously know. And I would love to hear um, your thoughts, even if you think I'm totally wrong, but you have some reason why, I'd be happy to hear that. And yeah, that's all for now. Please subscribe. Um, I make videos every Thursday. My drink matches my headband. All sorts of reasons to watch me. And um, I'll see you next time.